Hi guys, this is Tarun here and today we will discuss about SDQ service. So I'll take you through all the materials I used for preparing the SDQ survey, the original documents, the FORME certificates and what kind of questions one could expect and how we should answer it. So I'll uh, quickly run through what we are going to discuss today. So I'll take you through the IRS report on uh, safety equipment survey and what all are the important points. Moving on, I done my preparation through the actual form E, that is the cargo ship safety equipment certificate. So I got all my points from here and while answering to the survey, I used specific points that is detailed as particulars of the ship, details of life saving and all those points, I'll discuss it later. Moving on, I'll take on to the diagrammatic representation of how to remember these points. So we will later discuss about these two pages on the SEQ survey. So without wasting any precious time, let's move on. So first and foremost, the moment you are asked about SEQ surveys, you have to talk about the general and the documentation. So those points you can pick out from the IRS document which is put up here. You can download it from the internet and it's put up in the IRS website. So you talk about all these points has any changes been made or new equipment. So these points are quite similar to the other surveys. Talk about uh, all instructions and notices including the emergency stations. These points are quite uh, normal and keep appearing regularly and uh, this is an important point was there a report of any fire i will just zoom it up was there a report of any fire necessitating the operation of fixed fire extinguish system or the portable fire system so this has to be mentioned to the surveyor so once you have uh, talked about these points you move on to the documentations so what are the documentations In the documentations part you would talk about the fire control plan the master list the training and maintenance manual that is specific for the LSA uh, for the firefighting firefighting equipment and uh, whether you have adequate and up-to-date nautical charts those have to be discussed and uh, when the ship has an international code of signals and IMSR manual. So those documents I would again show you when we are talking about this. So there will be around, uh, there are many points if you visit various sites and if you visit various documents, there are many points. So we'll talk about those points which has to be remembered. Later. Let's move on to the cargo ship safety equipment survey. I beg your pardon, the cargo ship safety equipment certificate. So this is also called as the form E. Here, the moment when you are asked about explaining the SCQ survey, I would rather suggest that you go as per the three main points. You talk about the particulars of the ship, details of the life saving appliances and details of the navigation systems and equipment. So we'll have a quick run up. Here it talks about details of the life saving appliances, what will be the total number of persons for which the LSA are provided. So here it is 45, what are the total number of lifeboats, number of free fall lifeboats, all those details. So the moment you pick out a point, you keep elaborating on that. The number of motor lifeboats, number of rescue boats, life rafts and all these points are given immersion suits and the third point is the details of the navigation system and equipment. Here a lot of navigation systems and equipment are given so you try to recollect and remember as many points as possible and this is the way you would answer those points you talk about gyro, talk about the heading or track control systems, nautical charts, backup for egg disks, nautical publications the 9 gigahertz or 3 gigahertz RPA EIS and so on and so forth. 
So this is just a basic point. You can come out with your own way and technique of remembering these points. So this is how I had remembered. So the moment you get asked about the SEQ survey, if the surveyor asks you, how would you prepare for the SEQ survey? So start with the documentation, the general points you already discussed. When you move on to the documentation, you talk about there's a book kind of a thing given so that you remember these six points. Training and maintenance manual, LSA, FFA, maintenance record for the LSA, FFA, operation and maintenance manual, navigation equipment, logbook entries, that is the entry of drill, fire, boat, MOB, enclosed space, the IMCR manual and the international code of signals that should be available. And specifically for tankers, maintenance plan for inert gas and the deck foam system has to be there. So you can remember it, that is an IGG of Smith type, so I've drawn a Smith type and similarly a foam has to be there. Moving on, you should also have a muster list, a fire control plan and a duplicate copy should be stored outside in a weather tight container. There should be a nautical chart and an edge disk and they should be adequate and up to date. The LSA part, you talk about the lifeboat, rescue boat, emergency DG. So in a lifeboat, what all things we'll check those points you elaborate upon. So there should be a SART, two in quantity, two a VHF. The embarkation and disembarkation means should be in good condition. They should be properly lit. And later we'll talk about what all things are there inside and outside. So basically for a lifeboat, you talk about the interior, the exterior and the launching procedure. A rescue boat, similarly, the test servicing records, those has to be checked. The equipment which are there in the rescue boat, that has to be elaborated. This test and servicing should also be there for the lifeboat. Uh, for the emergency DG, the operation is in good condition. The test records, if you have a PMS record, that has to be elaborated. To the life rafts, you talk about the quantity, the servicing records the condition of HRU, whether it was serviced or whether it was replaced. Similarly, for these three things, the immersion suit, life jacket and life poise, the quantity and condition and the records have to be described. Moving on, the third point, navigation system and equipments. Here you talk about the pirate techniques. So you have a rocket flare and smoke signals. That's for you to remember. Talk about the line throwing appliances. Uh, the light shapes and sound signals that's the exact verbatim used in that form so that's how i remember it light shapes and uh, sound signals those have to be checked and to be found out whether they are in order talk about whether you have sufficient uh, gyroscope the x band s band radars are in good condition the servicing records talk about the rudder angle indicators rpm indicator the telephone to emergency liquid locations that is emergency manoring steering emergency dg room that has to be there ais bunwas vdr lrit long range and uh, it i'll talk about that later <laughs> the eco sounders and uh, what does the eco sounder do so it gives you the signal i mean the depth below the ship this is long range identification and tracking i just recollected it and uh, ensure all navigation navigational equipments are in good working order and egg discs so in that for me you find that there are uh, there should be two egg discs so one is for backup so that's about it uh, for today guys hope you guys have got some clarity on how to prepare for the SEQ questions do let me know if you have any doubts and uh, Stay tuned for the next video on SAFCON survey. See you soon guys.